Say hello to Paul Schaefer, if you will, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a show. What a nutty show. What a nutty ging ging kind of a fresh kick kind of show. Get in that groove, David Letterman. Thank you. It's Paul Schaefer. Paul Schaefer. You know, the, uh, I think the, the, the quote of the week from this show had to have been a couple of nights ago when we had Hal Roach here, and Paul said, Come on, it is Hawaiian music. <laughs> Nicely done. And it was, too. It, it was. was. It, it really was. was Hawaiian music. Oh, uh, let me tell you what we're doing tonight, in addition to those fine guests. Uh, on Thursday night, uh, since we've been on the air, we always answer our viewer mail. Tonight, certainly no exception. Let's get right to the mail, shall we? Letter number one comes to, actually, to the producer of our show, Barry Sand. It says, Dear Mr. Sand, uh, My reason for writing is to see if something, anything, can be done about that constant thumping and rolling sound that comes from the microphone and David's constantly tapping on the desk and moving things around, etc. <laughs> it's so distracting. Comes to us from Mrs. W.T. Wright. Well, Mrs. Wright, uh, I'm glad someone else has noticed that thumping. When I complain about it, they say I'm crazy, but I know one thing, it's not the microphone, so let's just take a look here. I take my flashlight and we'll come back and see if we can't get a... Well... Oh, no, wait a minute. There... Oh, good. Come here. Come here. Get out from under there. Come here. Come on. Come here. What? <laughs> Don't, don't go under there again. These are, these are my belongings. Stay out from under my desk. Just go over there and hang around with your friends, the musicians. Just, well, I certainly hope we've solved that for once and for all. Uh, letter number two. Um, I am very worried. I haven't seen Larry Budd, Melman, or Troy Chipper on your show in several weeks. What have you done with them? <laughs> there are few actors as talented as Larry B., and frankly, without him, your show just doesn't reflect that high quality of professionalism that seemed to just exude from Larry Budd. Get that man back on the air. Obviously, a desperate viewer, Beth Seekin. Well, you know, I'm sorry you haven't seen them for a while. It's uh, clearly our oversight. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, Larry Budd and his son, Troy Chipper Melman. Thank you, gentlemen. And if there's ever another outcry, we'll have them back again. Um, letter number three. Dear Mr. Letterman, I often watch your television show because you are droll and glib. I thought this was sophisticated yet silly humor, a perfect combination for the sleepy intellectual. <laughs> uh, however, last night I was so put off by your show that I was compelled to write to you. I doubt that I will watch your program again. Instead, I might just crawl under the covers and reread Sisterhood is Powerful. Regretfully, Nancy Feinstein, New York City. Well, quite obviously, this is really painful for me. I, I hate the thought of losing even one, one viewer, and I better go talk to Nancy. <laughs> Nancy? Nancy? <laughs> Look, uh, I, I know you're upset and... Uh, Nancy, I can explain. Uh, could you just say something? Come on, Nancy. Come on now. Get out from under there. And Nancy. Come on. Come on, Steve. What are, you, what are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? You yelled at me. All right, man. fine. Go back over and sit with the band. Oh, good heavens. The show has certainly taken a dangerous twist, hasn't it? Letter number four. Hello, Dave and folks. I'd just like to say how much I enjoy your terrific, wonderful, stupendous, unparalleled show. But now to the main topic of my letter. For as long as your show has run, you have neglected to feature the considerable talents of one man, a man whose musical talent, high jumping ability, and razor-sharp comedic wit have made him a legend in his own time, the one, the only, Mr. Will Lee. Will Lee, of course, our bass player. This comes to us from Eric Nyquist, Long Beach, California. You know, that's not a bad idea. I think a segment uh, for uh, Will would be a great idea. Paul, do you have anything uh, for us? 
Well, as a matter of fact, Will has not seen this, but we, uh, we have cooked up a little something just for Will. Could we roll the clip if we could? This is so It's cool. the Will Lee Show. Starring Steve Jordan as Will Lee. Also starring David Letterman as Mr. President. Wait a minute. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, just a minute. Paul, Paul, what exa- uh, what, why, is it, uh, why is it that Will is not even in the Will Lee story? Well, David, you've been yelling at Steve so much that, that uh, we thought we would let him star in, uh, in the Will Lee show. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I think Steve is just trying to get on camera. No, Dave, I think you're wrong about, about Steve, Dave. I really do. Well, I certainly hope so. <laughs> Letter number five. We're only going to do a couple of dozen letters tonight, so we're up to five already. Dear David, do you think it would be possible for us, the television viewing public, to see what Steve Jordan, your drummer, really looks like? Every time we see him, he's always stuck behind the drums. What's the story behind his career? How did he get to where he is today? Right back soon. And when you're in Queens, don't be such a stranger. (laughs) Your pal, Philip Finelli. Well... You know, we never really received a letter asking about Steve Jordan, our drummer, before, and frankly, we were a little suspicious, so we compared handwriting samples. Now, first, here is, this is Philip Finelli's uh, signature. This came to us, and, and here is Steve Jordan's signature. I think you'll notice a, a few similarities there, the, the uh, loops in the uh, letters here and there and also there, uh, but the proof was inconclusive, so... Uh, we, uh, we, uh, I'll find my place any day now. <laughs> Thank you. But we still weren't sure, so we asked them both to submit a list of their three favorite movies. Philip Finelli and Steve Jordan here are the movies Steve selected, <laughs> Star Wars, Grand Theft Auto, and they call me Mr. Tibbs. Now, Mr. Finelli submitted the following list, uh, Star Wars, Grand Theft Auto, and they call me Mr. Tibbs. Well, going right down to the wire here, aren't we? So, then we discovered that, oddly enough, coincidentally, Philip Finelli could play the drums a little bit, but not very well. Very nice, Steve. Very nice. And I think we owe you a big apology. Uh, We're going to pause. We'll be right back. Merv Griffin and Captain Beefheart are here tonight. (laughs) 